So it's peony season, finally. And as you know, one of the best places to buy peonies is Trader Joe's. I was at Trader Joe's yesterday and bought all these gorgeous peonies. There are a lot of different varieties at Trader Joe's and they're all in various stages of bloom. So today I wanted to show you how I choose my peonies as well as how to process peonies, how many days it takes for a peony to bloom fully. So let's get started. So I bought four bunches of peonies at Trader Joe's, two bunches of white, a bunch of pink, and a bunch of hot pink. I wanted to show you the various stages of bloom that I purchased and what to avoid and what to look for. So this white bunch is the most fully blooming bunch that I bought. You don't have a big choice. Sometimes it's a mixture of tight and open. You don't wanna buy your peonies much more open than this because they open very quickly. And you don't wanna buy your peonies much tighter than this. Definitely you wanna see um, some color. Now this is a tight bunch of peonies that I purchased and I wanted to show you this because I wanted you to make sure you don't buy peonies much tighter than this. You definitely wanna see a little bit of color coming out of the top. Um, the reason is sometimes when you buy the peonies buds too tight, too small, they might never bloom. I believe these are local peonies, meaning they're grown somewhere on the West Coast, either Washington, Oregon, or California. So they shouldn't have been uh, cold store for too long. But if you're buying imported peonies, sometimes they've been cold shipped and been in cold storage for a long time, and the really, really tight buds won't bloom. So these peonies at Trader Joe's were only $10 a bunch, which, and there's five stems in a bunch, and that makes them $2 a stem, which is actually a lot less expensive than my wholesale prices at the San Francisco flower market. San Francisco flower market at the peak of peony season, I would say still ranges $20 to $35 a bunch uh, for peonies. And peonies are generally sold in bunches of five. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to process peonies and let you know what varieties I chose. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these packs. These look very fresh. You can tell because foliage looks great. So our peonies are all unpacked. I have a little secret tip for you. Now the peony season in Northern California here runs about mid-May through maybe July, depending on the weather. And we'll get imports starting in late October through Christmas. Now, a lot of brides and a lot of my wedding work, everybody wants peonies. And I tell them, make sure you get married in May and June. But of course, we have a lot of weddings outside of that peony time. Or if you find the perfect white peonies and you want to store them, you can. Now, you can buy peonies that are not fully blooming like this bunch right here. Cold store your peonies for about two weeks you can in the floral refrigerator. What I mean by cold store is do not cut the stems once you get them back from the flower market or Trader Joe's and keep them in the cellophane and just put them dry in your floor refrigerator. Now, of course, if you don't have a floor refrigerator, you could put it in your regular refrigerator if you have space, but make sure they're not close to any fruits that will give off ethylene gases like apples or bananas. Not that anyone puts bananas in their fridge. <laughs> but that is how you can preserve your peonies to keep them from blooming for up to two weeks and in time for your event. If you need peonies, say, end of July and you're not sure if you can get them. So that's a little tip. And I've actually done it for wedding work, so I know it actually works. Now, once you get your peonies and once you put them in water, they bloom really quickly. What I have here is just a bucket of water, lukewarm, and I have a couple of scoops of floral life in there. Floral life is the preservative we use for all our cut flowers. And I will put a link in the description below because you could buy this on Amazon if you don't have access to a wholesale flower market. Now what we're gonna do is strip some of the leaves that are gonna be below the water line off of the peonies. And look at, you can tell a peony is very fresh because the leaves are kind of crisp and uh, still very turgid. And I bought two bunches of white peonies. And the white peony variety I bought is called Festiva Maxima. You know it's, it's Festiva Maxima because you see that crimson kind of streak on the outer petals. 
and the very pure white white. This is one of my favorite white peonies because there are a lot of beautiful, uh, other beautiful white peonies with sort of yellow centers and the Festiva Maxima when it's in full bloom will not have a yellow center. It's just all pure white with a little bit of that crimson streak in it, which I think is just really, really gorgeous. I will show you the progression of the peonies as they bloom and how many days it takes to get to what stage, because that's one of the most important things when using peonies for events is knowing how to preserve it, how to get it in, to bloom in time. Because when they're sold, they're usually sold in bud like this. And it's hard to know how many days it takes for bud like this to open fully for your event. Now, once your peonies are fully opened, you want to put them in the refrigerator because once it's fully open, I would say they will last four days, four or five days maximum. Sort of depending on the variety, but generally speaking, once they're full blooming, they're not super long lasting flowers. So the var white variety I have is Festiva Maxima. And this pale pink variety also has that crimson kind of streak on the outside. This is a pale pink peony called Sarah Bernhardt. It's gorgeous. When it blooms, it's a really beautiful pale pink and the heads are huge. So you know it's a Sarah Bernhardt when it's that pale clear pink with kind of a red uh, crimson stripe on the outside. See how there's like buds this big and buds this big within the same uh, bunch of peonies. And I also bought a hot pink variety and this one is called Dr. Fleming. It's a beautiful kind of hot pink, uh, tending towards more of a violety pink. And then what I'm gonna do is just cut the stems. You can use a knife, you're supposed to use a knife, but I've got clippers instead. I'm gonna cut it at an angle. And put it in my preservative water. Now the water is just lukewarm, not hot like when we, uh, when we process roses. Now there are many, many, many varieties of peonies. Most of the peonies we use as cut flowers are herbaceous peonies. Herbaceous peonies tend need to have the winter chill to grow. So I have a lot of peony plants in my garden, but I'm lucky if I get two or three blooms a year. So I no longer buy peony plants because the climate here, 9B, is too warm for peonies. But on the East Coast and the um, uh, mountainous regions of California and colder parts of Washington and Oregon, um, we get a lot of our peonies. Now, since peonies are so popular, they, they are extending the bloom time by, some of the growers are growing it up in Alaska, and they're supposed to be offering peonies as late as August and September from Alaska, but they're not uh, available in a large quantity. So if you're doing events, I would not quote a bride peonies for her wedding bouquet in August or September, <laughs> okay? So our peonies are all processed. I'm gonna show you how they open over the next few days. So this is day two of the peonies. You see how some of them have developed to full blooming already? And some of our tighter buds are starting to open up. There's still a few right here that's still really, really tight, but some that are full blooming, half blooming. I just wanted to let you see how quickly they develop. What I'm gonna do is probably take some of the full blooming ones and put it in the floral fridge and let the buds uh, develop outside the fridge. So this is the progress of the peonies on day three. You see some of the buds are still pretty tight, but we have a lot that are pretty much open. What I'm gonna do is transfer some of these open peonies to this white bucket here. So I've transferred the more open peonies into the white bucket over here. I'm gonna put it in the floral fridge. And these uh, buds that are continuing to open, we're gonna keep in the, this black bucket out of the fridge. So this is day four of the peonies. The ones in the white bucket are the ones I took 
out yesterday and put in the floral fridge to preserve it. And then let's look at what has developed in the black bucket. We have a full blooming white one and a blooming Sarah Bernhardt. I'm gonna transfer these to the white bucket to put in the floral fridge. This one's a pretty big bud. I could transfer it to the floral fridge or let it develop a little more. Um, I could just, I'm gonna put it in the fridge because it's gonna be warm today. And this is pretty full blooming already. And then let's take a look at the other buds that were much tighter. They're slowly starting to develop. There's one that probably won't open. You can see how it's sort of black on one side. So yeah, when you buy peonies, you might lose uh, a fraction of the ones that you buy, depending on um, their state. And sometimes you can't tell till they start opening. So this one is gonna be a discard. So we lost one white one. And these are the tightest buds. Hopefully they will open. I think so, um, but they're pretty tight. I wish they didn't pick the peony so tight because sometimes they won't develop fully. You'll have a smaller peony because it didn't um, have uh, enough growing time. Anyway, so these look pretty promising. We have a few more days on these before they're full blooming. So this is our sixth and final day of the peony processing video. Um, you see most of the peonies have bloomed. I've kept them in the fridge, so they're still looking good. The ones that are left, the white ones are blooming and the Sarah Bernhardt's, unfortunately, if you can see, they are um, blooming finally, but they've already, they're already spent before they can be fully blooming. And some of these buds have never bloomed and they're just looking like they're wilting. So this is the whole point of the video is to show you that it takes a little bit of patience and you have to know what you're doing when you're trying to time peonies. And buying peonies that are too tight, um, sometimes they'll never develop. So I definitely recommend buying larger unopened um, buds of peonies and not the super tight ones. And it also kind of depends on the peony variety and how it was processed and picked. Like this unopened white bud still looks very turgid and I think it will develop. And this one looks okay. And this one has developed. But you see how the smaller buds, the flowers are just not as big and fully open as the larger buds. So this is just to show you, it's important when you pick your peonies at Trader Joe's or wherever you find peonies to buy them when the buds are sort of large. And ideally they should open in, a, in two days or so so that you can enjoy your peonies um, for longer. All right. Hope you find that helpful. So now you know how to process peonies and you know how to time them for your next event. I hope you enjoy this video and learn something. As always, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.